uh, good afternoon if you're joining me from the UK and I think it's good evening in Australia if you're watching me live if you are watching me on the replay then just hello because that covers everything doesn't it um how is everyone I hope everyone is okay every time I do this my tripod decides to go a bit wonky I don't know why anyway today is going to be probably a shorter live than usual and the reason for that is I've got myself a little bit earlier to go and get the kids from school um so it's two o'clock in the afternoon here um so that's why long story I still haven't got a vehicle anyway last week I did a live of all the different voodoo gel stains hi Donna so I had um, some scrap wood and I um, went through the Voodoo Gel Stains because it's a product that it doesn't get used an awful lot, I don't think. I see the popular colours out there. I see the Eau Naturel, I see the, um, the white a bit. Some of the other colours, not so much. So I don't know if that's just me, but... I don't use some of the other colours either. So I thought we would just swatch them on a piece of wood. And loads of people messaged and quite a few people commented underneath that video saying how helpful it was. Because obviously you you don't get to go and look at these types of things. Even if you have a retailer near you, they might not have every single product available to kind of see in real life. You can see it in the tubs. But that isn't always an, a, like a really sort of good indicator of how it's going to turn out. So, because I need to do a little bit of a shorter live this week, and also because I am massively running out of room. So, long story short, you will have literally... Hi, Anne-Marie, you'd have been sick and tired of hearing me about my vehicle issues at the minute. But um, I have a massive backlog of furniture and my workspace is tiny. Also, if you can hear background noise, that's my washing machine. Um, so I've got a massive backlog of furniture waiting to be moved. I, I can't hardly fit anything in. The piece that I'm doing this week is small for my own YouTube channel, and it's also Terra. So if you want to see how Terra works a little bit more, if you're intrigued by it, make sure you go over to my YouTube channel, and I will be posting that video later this week. But I thought, hi Jackie, I thought this week we would swatch the Terra colours. Now, there are 18. I thought I had all 18, but I only have 17. And I think the one that's missing is London Blue. However, that is very similar to another blue. Um, so, there we go. When I was going through them, I was thinking, I'm sure I've got London Blue, but I, I couldn't see it. So, anyway, I've got a scrap piece of wood as you can see here. Hi, Sharon. And all I'm gonna do, and I really want pity here because I'm gonna wash all 18 brushes after this because I'm gonna swatch each individual color. But I just thought it might be useful to people that might not have seen every single color used because we've all got our favorites. I'm guilty of using green and blue all the time. Um, and I don't very often use some of the other colors. I love color. But they're the colours that I'm drawn to the most. Um, and like I say, you might not have a retailer that has them all out and, and able to actually see in real life. You might not even be able to get to a retailer. Um, so for that reason, we're going to go ahead and open the first one. The first one is Marigold, which is orange. I'm going to say... I'm going to draw, I'll, I'll say, there are some similarities to colours in the chalk mineral paint line and the silver mineral paint line, but um, not sort of for every colour, if that makes sense. So this is Marigold, and for those of you that don't know, Terra is a clay paint. So it's a very kind of natural product. It's also incredibly thick. So the consistency of this is like a mousse sort of consistency, like a pudding. You've got no sympathy 
for the brushes no this is the actually easiest paint to wash out of brushes to be fair um so you can see the consistency it doesn't want to drip it's not dripping off my paintbrush so it's the thickest out of the three paint lines that Dixie Belle do. It's great for artistic finishes. Now, that can mean a plethora of different things. Artistic finish can mean so many different things. But it is one of those paints that you do have to play around with. Um, it's so different to chalk mineral paint. The way that it behaves... It has a slight element of unpredictability about it. It um, reactivates with water incredibly easy. And that can be a good and a bad thing. Um, it's, it's very, very sort of, you, you have to kind of play around with it. Um, the next colour that I'm going to use, I'm just picking these at random, by the way. I'm not that organised to do them in any kind of order. Is Cerulean Blue. And... I've done a piece in this. It's gorgeous. The coverage of all of these paints is absolutely phenomenal, by the way. Uh, seriously, seriously good coverage. So that's Cerulean Blue. We'll do this one next. I'm just doing these as I get to them. This one is called Galaxy. It's absolutely gorgeous, this colour. There isn't really a colour like it in the chalk mineral paint range. It's a very deep blue. But it's... It's got... I would say it's got quite a lot of green in it. Um, Galaxy's absolutely gorgeous. So that's Galaxy. And I'm doing a piece... It's going to be a pretty piece of wood. It is, isn't it? It's going to look cool. I'm doing a piece this week featuring this colour this is the main colour but I'm also doing some other colours with it as well um so if you want to see how my piece turns out it's a very heavily carved piece and it's looking very subtle but very pretty so that was galaxy gorgeous and what's this one like this one this one's a wild card for me, and I'll tell you why. If you follow me, you know that I don't really do neutrals an awful lot. But this neutral is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Desert Tan. Um, they add water to show clients how it will still reactivate with water. Yeah, exactly. So you can dry this down. Um, I could leave this next till next week, and I could come back, spray this with water um some some will do galaxy malachite and pistachio mm, tasty so i could spray this with water after a week as long as i don't seal it and you can reactivate this and it's workable again so they're very you can also do like a watercolor effect with these um that they, they there's so many different things that you can do with this paint and i'm still learning about it i'm still kind of experimenting as well you could you could leave it for months as long as it's not sealed you could leave it for a year if you wanted to and come back to it and it's still you could spray it with water and it'd reactivate um this one i was actually scared when this first came out of pronouncing this because i did do a piece using this color and i was on my video i was kind of like i sort of said it like that um, but it's actually bougainvillea i've had some um lessons in how to pronounce it thanks jackie um and it's bougainvillea and it's seriously awesome you see how much i like it because it's gone down quite a lot uh so desert tan was the one above it that's that one and it's a really pretty neutral tone I've also got something on the on the bristles of this one that's picking up a different pigment. There we go. <clears throat> that that's a smashing colour. It's very similar to Plum Crazy, I'd say. <laughs> I don't. Some of the other. I know. I know. We like, obviously some of the other brand ambassadors are American, and I know that there's obviously dialects and stuff. Um, the lighting in here is very dark again today. Well, it actually isn't, but it looks dark on the screen. And that colour is very similar to the colour of the actual plank. Um, what have we got here? Next up, a Wisteria Mist. 
And a lot of people have said, can you just do one flat colour with um, Terra? And the answer is, you can. You absolutely can. Um, you'll see a lot of people are doing artistic finishes with it. Um, so that one's Wisteria Mist. This one's very similar to Morning Sunrise in the Silk line. Um, sorry, I didn't see a question. I've, heard, I've seen Jackie... I've seen Jackie's answered, answered it. So... It isn't self-leveling, it has to be sealed, which makes it different to the other two lines that Dixie Belle do. So Chalk Mineral Paint and Silk Mineral Paint have both got self-leveling properties in them. And Silk, you don't have to seal because it's got a built-in top coat. And Chalk Mineral Paint, you actually don't have to seal because it's very, very durable. People usually put a top coat, either whether that be Easy Peasy Spray Wax, Best Ang Wax, Hemp Oil, um, any of your clear coats or gator hide over the top of it for a little more durability or to make it basically so that it's a little bit more easy to clean because it is a very flat matte finish but it's actually a very dur it doesn't need a top coat chalk mineral paint this does need a top coat and not all top coats are compatible with this and the reason is is because it's so easily reactivated with water and what can happen is it will pull your paint. So if you use a top coat that isn't great or isn't compatible with this paint, it'll just kind of pull it off. So there is a little bit of a technique to it. It's not a one and done paint like silk. Um, that it is, It's a little bit more... Um, you need to, you kind of need to use the right kind of things with it. But generally speaking, the process is the same. Clean paint <coughs> seal um there are a couple of products in the line that you can seal them with um there's terra tough and terra seal there's also a wax i don't have it yet um i think it's it's just there's just been a massive delay on the wax for some reason um but terra tough and well, terra matte terra seal is matte you test me now because again i haven't got these products and terra tough is got a slight sheen to it, I think. Those products are actually on their way to me um, soon. So I should have them in the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, don't use an oil-based sealer. So this is a no rules paint, but there are some obviously things that we would advise that you do and don't do. And they've been tried and tested. So we can probably say that with confidence, hemp oil, Big Mama's Butter, things like that, don't work. The best with this kind of paint because it is so porous what it does is just sucks those products in and it completely changes the properties of the paint it changes the color it kind of doesn't it just doesn't work great so there are certain things that are better with this than others i have used all of the clear coats without a problem and i've also used gator hide without a problem um, can you seal it with a spray polish? I don't know. I, I think a spray would be absolutely fine because you aren't putting anything on the surface. You're not, you know, you're spraying it. You're not physically putting a bra brush or a cloth or, or a sponge on the surface. I've got a dog looking at me down here. It's properly putting me off. Um, <coughs> but what I can say is if you are not using a... a a top coat that you've seen one of the brand ambassadors using and saying that's okay, i.e. one of the clear coats in the Dixie Bowl range, Gator Hide works fine, or one of the, ter I think some of the other girls in America definitely have the wax, and they also have the Terra approved top coats. So if you see one of them using those and they're fine, then they're good to go. Obviously, we're only going to use Dixie Bell products, but if you have something else, I would test it on a scrap piece of wood first to make sure that it works because I have waxes from years and years ago that are different brands. I've tried them over Terra and they don't work. They just, they don't work. So, top coat is quite important. And until you, until you seal it, it's very, very porous. Right, next colour, if I can get it open is onyx and that is black and the other thing with this paint is as well is it 
excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I had a bagel for lunch and I've got the hiccups. Um, it start as you see it drying, can you see up here where it started to dry? It changes colour, it goes dramatically paler. I'll zoom you in up here. There we go. So you can see the orange, the marigold, and a little bit here on the cerulean blue. Um, the others haven't started to dry down yet. The edges of desert town have started to dry down. Um, yeah, only, I've only got the hiccups because I'm live, exactly. Um, so <clears throat> that goes, all the colours go a lot paler when they start to dry. And then as soon as you add the top coat, they go back to their kind of vibrancy, if you like. Let's go down, going down. Uh, so I'll put the lid back on Onyx. We don't want to spill that. And next one is wheat. So this is this is um, a sort of muted uh, yellow. Oh, I've just slopped some down there. There we go. That's wheat. And then, because sometimes it's easy to compare colours when they're next to each other, I'm going to do the other yellow in the range, which is daffodil. And you can see the difference. This one is much zingier, it's much brighter. And it's a lot brighter than daisy as well. I would say it's a very um, kind of bright yellow. Does this paint blend? Yes. It absolutely blends like a charm <coughs> it's the easiest paint to blend if you have struggled blending this by far is the easiest paint to blend because you can actually leave it to dry and go back and blend it so if i wanted to blend these two together for example i might kind of smush them together now i'm not going to but i could like smush them together and then once it's dried down you might think, hmm, no, okay, I'm going to work it a bit more. And you can spritz it with water and blend it again. So, yes, it blends really, really well. Next one is one of my favourites. It's called Lanny's Lagoon. Look at that. Wowzers. Seriously awesome colour. <clears throat> So pretty that one is. I love that one. Next one is Blue Moon, which is the one that is very similar to London Blue. So that is Blue Moon. Oh, I've got two blue moons here. Um, next one is the white in the range because everybody, everybody's like very, very fast dry. Yeah, really, really fast to dry. And it's, um, you can speed it up with a hairdryer if you want to. I'm going to move around because I think I'm blocking the light. How's that? Okay, moonbeam. Now I'm just like the wrong way around, so it's... <coughs> Why have I got a stupid cough? I do apologise. That's Moonbeam. What else have we got? Oh yes, this one. Are we going to run out of board? No, we'll be okay. We'll be absolutely fine. This one. Purple. It's called Elderberry. Just do a thin line because I don't want to run out of board. I'm going to move you. There we go. Um, what else have we got? We have got my all-time favourite here which is going to look absolutely amazing next to the purple. Um, elderberry is gorgeous. 
look at this green there is literally nothing like it in either of the other two paint ranges it's called pistachio and here we go you can see it in the tub you can see it on the brush it's phenomenal it is such an insane color it's so good obviously i like green so i am biased but it's amazing and what else we've got we've got another green here this one is also beautiful it's similar to midnight green it's a darker green but it's a brighter darker green so this one is called malachite i don't know if i just said that <coughs> that one's gorgeous too and then the last one is Prairie Dawn, which, oh, oh I've got a bit of malachite in there. That's because I'm painting wonky. So it's another neutral. It's slightly warmer. It's more of a cream, I'd say. I've got a hint of yellow in it. So, I think that's all of them. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Interesting. This should be eighteen. Okay. Tell me what two colours I'm missing. <laughs> Tap, will you please go and lie down? I don't want an actual audience, thank you. What two colours am I missing then? Interesting. I thought I was very prepared. I was prepared because I've got a brush left over and I knew I only had 17 colours because I don't have London blue. I'm so confused. Looks like you're missing a mid-tone blue. Answers on a postcard. Answers on a postcard. So I've just stepped back and will it fit the whole thing in? Go back a bit. There we go. You can see my other camera there. Yeah, there you go. They are starting to dry down and they are starting to go a little bit paler. What colour have I missed? That is going to drive me actually insane. So... She didn't swatch all of the Terry Kelly paint colours. She swatched 16 out of 18. Um, and I would love to you to get in the comments and just let me know which one I've missed. Um, blue, blue, yes. Now I can put some hooks to it and use it. Yeah, not really sure I'm going to use that. There's so much background noise. It is blue, a gave, a gave, a gav, a gav. I'm going to fetch it right there. Tap, will you please down? Where are you? Got it. I've got two blue moons instead of a blue moon and a blue agave. A gave? A garvey? I don't know. So this is a much more muted blue. Come back. Come back to the board. Where are we going to slot this one in? Right at the very bottom. Going down. I hope you're not getting travel sick here. This one is... I've, yes, I have. I've used this one on the piece that I'm painting this week. We'll just pop it right at the very bottom there. It's a bit kind of duck eggy bluey almost. Another pretty one. Another very pretty one. And there we go, 17 paintbrushes for me to wash out. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. I think it was Anne-Marie that said the missing colour because sometimes my brain goes to mush on lives. In fact, very often goes to mush on lives. Uh, <coughs> so hopefully that may or may not have helped. It might be the crappiest live you've ever seen. Um, but I am hoping that it may have helped some of you there's a few pointers there with regards to clay paint. It's still a bit of a mystery to a lot of people. Um, 
so people are like don't really get it don't really get the whole clay paint thing all i can advise you to do if you aren't fully sold on the clay paint idea if you don't quite get it if you just think well i've got chalk mineral paint why would i want clay paint if you do do artistic finishes and by artistic finishes i mean finishes that are not one flat color if you are doing a one flat color piece on a modern piece or a mid-century piece or that's just your bag you just want to paint some paint something plain um one color have it just kind of one and done and you're out of there then silk mineral paint is absolutely the way to go without a shadow of a doubt there's no reason that you'd have this kind of paint for a flat finish for a one color flat you just wouldn't it'd just be too much too much work however if you do artistic finishes and by that i it, just basically it means anything from blending to layering to ombre to color mixing to dry brushing to anything anything that you can see as a decorative effect or an artistic finish is hand painting go and check out as many of the brand ambassadors and content creators for dixie bowl paint as you possibly can because we've all got our own styles we all use the paint in different ways and that'll give you a much better idea of how to use it so amy from aj's vintage design she does amazing layering tracy does her whimsical stuff and she's also done some really cool hand painted things melissa from the top draw rva has done some app just knock over a box of nails why don't you dog um melissa from the top draw rva has done some amazing hand painted flowers like absolutely phenomenal out of this world jody does her bow uh, like boho layering kind of grungy look as well i mean malia may as well be called terra clay paint because it just suits her style so she does like romantic grunge um there's so many different ways of doing it it's, and and you can you can just play around with it and there are really other than the top coat you've got to be a little bit careful there are really no rules so just go and check them out i have a couple of videos on my own youtube channel also on Dixie Bell's YouTube channel, there are some videos of Terra and then those other brand ambassadors have all done kind of their own spin on how to use Terra. So go and check them all out, go and have a look and then see what you think. You still might not be sold. You still might think, nah, it's not for me, but it isn't for everyone. It isn't. And that's why there's three different ranges of paint that Dixie Bell do, because then hopefully there is something for everyone, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm going to take my very colourful board and I'm gonna go and get my, the dog's here. I'm gonna go and get my kids from school and yeah, that'll be pretty much my day done. But make sure you are subscribed to the Dixie Bowl YouTube channel. I'm live here every Tuesday at one o'clock. If there's something specific that you want me to cover in these lives, please drop it in the comments below. I also have my own YouTube channel, which you can head over and take a look at. There's a loads of different videos on there using silk, chalk mineral paint, and Terra, so go and check that out and subscribe over there and i am live on my own youtube channel tomorrow at one o'clock uk time which is 8 a.m est so hopefully see you there oh thank you doris that's very nice of you thank you for that um thank you for watching everyone as always i've got to skedaddle now i'm going to fetch the kids from school so i'll catch you all later bye